寝る時間ね少し眠ることにするわ。There it is, Dragonborn. The Akavir. It's not as big as I expected, and I am betting you have already killed half of them back on the island. Marines, get out of sight under the bow of the ship. Dragonborn, you and Rigmore wait in the cabin. You know the drill. Xan, maintain full speed ahead. People, you have the captain. Marines, on the deck. Move. I'm good. Okay, I've got your back. No way. Don't even try it, Dragonborn. I love you too. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. Okay, let's find a key and get these doors open.
You have been rescued. Please be patient as my crew brings food and fresh water. You will be administered an antidote and the cage is open. You must stay here in this holding space. Please try to remain calm. We will be traveling to Torval and safety shortly. Dragonborn, get these doors open. Rigmore, give them some of that stuff you have on you. Okay. Zan, take the helm of the traitor. Aye, aye, Captain. Carls, take the helm of this ship. I'll load it. We commandeered this ship and I'll have it set sail to Torval with some of my crew. The rest of us will head straight to Dawnstar in the trader. Then I'll make my way to Torval and hand this stuff over to Barandar. He'll know what to do with it. Then I'll travel to Anvil. I suggest you get some rest. We still have a way to go. You really need to visit a shrine. You look terrible. Dragonborn, but these poor people. I... They're in good hands, Rigmore. We need you to get to Dawnstar as soon as possible. You are needed in Bruma, too. Okay. You're right. As soon as we entered, the, the fear. They thought we were them, didn't they? Come to take another poor bastard away. It must have been terrifying. But why? Why would the Imperial Navy be supplying these monsters with... What collusion?
Well, I, for one, am quite happy to be Morag Sethius' party pooper. Pooper. You know, poop. Uh, someone who takes a great big shit from a great big height on someone else's happy day, all right? And thanks for taking my mind off things. Wake me when we arrive at Dawnstar. Oh, this bed is so comfortable. Dragonborn, Rigmar, we've arrived off the Skyrim coast. The captain has a jolly boat ready to take you to Dawnstar. Make haste, and give my regards to that fat old fox. Be careful, Cassius. Likewise, Rigmore, and farewell. Zan, I'm so going to miss you. Hey, don't you worry about a thing, okay? You have so many people around you that love you so much. Take care of yourself. Until we meet again. Yeah, let's get this over with. Yeah, pretty impressive, huh? How does it look? Don't you like it?
Did you see a dog out there? Oh well. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. You could say that, but what about you? How long has it been now? Four years? Not that I've been counting. And look at you, Countess, a fine young woman now. You have no idea how much it pleases me to see you safe and well, Redmore. You have warmed an old warrior's heart, truly. Oh, in gold! Thank you. I'm sorry. This isn't just a surprise for you. No need to explain. You're both fugitives, again, and need my help. Come, let's sit and talk. Where's Angie and Sorella? How has Sorella been? She must have grown up quite a bit. <laughs> Angie took her hunting in the mountains. They'll be gone for some time. She's very good with a bow now. Stormbow. That's what I named her. Do you have any more children? Oh... I'm sorry, Ingol. Forgive me. <laughs> Don't be sorry. We're trying. Who knows? Maybe one day. But Guardian, what brings you here? And how can I help? They besieged Bruma. Been a couple of days now. I sent my old guard to keep an eye on the border. I hear you two have been stirring up a whole hornet's nest over there. One of my men keeps me informed in the details. As soon as I saw you, I guessed you'd need my help. Am I guessing you want to lift the siege? We could do that. Just break through the ring. My men are raring to go. They have family there, too. <laughs> then old Goat is still alive. Continue, friend. This I cannot do. You will have my men. And I'll personally lead them if I must. But I will not put Sorella in danger. Angie would never allow it. She would never forgive me if anything happened to her. Cassius will guide us over the border along the Brenna River to Table Mountain. We need to destroy an artifact. A soul gem. And Sorella needs to come with us. She has to destroy the gem with Zemia's wrath. Enough! I have welcomed you into my house. But now you cross the line. I'm sorry. I don't like this one bit. But it figures. Sorella has been having dreams. I told her to keep the ring on that you gave her, but she can be stubborn. In the dream, she fires an arrow. 
to save many children. Ingol, you will be well protected. Cassius and Quintus's legions will be waiting. That gem holds the souls of all the children that disappeared over ten years throughout Cyrodiil and Hammerfell, and is the link to Mirag Ball, a witch. It must be destroyed. It's the only way we can win the war. I don't know. Do you even have a plan? It will send more, a bigger army to besiege the city. Bruma can hold out indefinitely. Dragonborn, Sorella, and I will meet Cassius and Coral. Once we are over the mountains, we will meet up with Quintus and Assault Table Mountain. We will carve a way through. Sorella will only be allowed to join us when the coast is clear. She only needs to take one shot. That's all. Anji will take some convincing. I'll talk to Sorella, let her know what's going on. It would be best if just the two of you sneak into Bruma. Avoid the border posts. There's a cave you can enter that'll bring you out on the other side. Bruma will be directly south. I'll mark it on your map. Make your way over the border. And once you're back, I'll attack their flank and we can reinforce the city. Then, I'll bring Sorella with me. For what? You come here and deliver a blow to my heart. I want you to go. I don't want you to be here when they return. Now go. Dragonborn. I will stay with Sam. I'll protect her. I don't even want to think about it. Lead the way.
you go first. Hey, I got your back, okay? <laughs> Dragonborn, look. These blocks look alien. Looks like treasure hunters have been this way. Luna and I used to come here when we were kids. We're in Riel. Come on, let's take a knee, get a fire going. It's one of the many Aelid ruins that are all over Sierra. The Aelid were an ancient race of Mer, well, elves. Their empire was vast, and their influence reached out to most of the regions in Tamriel. You'll also find the ruins in High Rock, Hammerfell, Balenwood. The Imperial City was built by the aliens in the height of their power. Until at least the, uh... You know. Let us slave army against them and form the Imperial Empire out of the ashes. Hey, I read books, you know. Plus, Briathoth is a great scholar and wealth of knowledge on these things. Have you ever seen something like this before? Uh-uh. You need to go beyond Skyrim. You won't find any more wind either. I remember because one of those stone blocks fell on my foot and Luna had to go fetch my dad. He had to carry me all the way home. I wanted to cry because it hurt so bad, but he scolded me. Cry and I'll give you something to cry about. 
He was so angry with me. He was forbidden to enter these ruins because they're so dangerous. Well, they were back then, but most of them have been cleared out by treasure hunters. No, never. We didn't need to. I feared and respected him at the same time. I mean, he was my dad. It was just after that time he made my first wooden sword. I remember he said, Rigmore, the world is a dangerous place. I might not always be here for you. You must learn to take care of yourself. Something like that. You know, it's quite cozy in here. Maybe we should stay the night. How cozy. We never have been careful, have we? About people knowing. You know. No. No, it wouldn't. I need you too. So we live for the now. Because tomorrow might never come. Dragonborn. Yes, yes, I'm fine. The exit's just ahead. Well, 
For the sewer outlet? It comes out west. We might be able to enter there. It leads directly to the keep. You really wouldn't see it if you weren't looking. Down that way, Dragonborn. Toward the road. They're only blocking the east side. If they want to starve us out, they need to stop supplies to bring from Skyrim. Those troops must have been patrolling the route to Athens. The outlet of course.
You go first. Hold me up. Let's go. Just what the hell is going on. gods have looked down on us today. Oh, my baby girl. What have they done to you? Dragonborn, how can I ever thank you? Come on, Mom. Let's sit down. Everything's going to be all right. Guardian, I take it you were not seen entering the city. We got in through the sewers. I don't think they saw us. Two days ago, Robert de Medallius arrived under a white flag of Pali. Bastard. He demanded we surrender the city. When we refused, he cut off our lifeline to Skyrim and has sat there since, and has begun constructing trebuchets to assault the city and a log ram to force open the gates. We assumed you had survived and rescued Rigmore, and they were now enacting exactly what I had expected. Initially, we expected the worst. Carries? Robert said that you had perished in the fire, but luckily Rigmore had already sailed for exile. That he was going to speak to the Emperor and implore that he would be allowed to marry her, that his love was still true. <coughs> he right. Morag Sethius called for calm, and she would get down to the bottom of the reasons for the fire. And it was a sad day that so many lost their lives. She hasn't been seen for two days. We fear she may have left for Table Mountain. Sethry informed us of everything, so now we know the truth. Have you spoken to him? He was coming to find you. Well met. What a wretched world it has become. But apart from what Sethry told us, we have been cut off from the world awaiting the worst. Ingol is going to mount an attack soon. We can sally forth and destroy the trebuchets. I would advise taking control of the road into Cyrodiil. We can defend it from the heights. The mountains behind our backs are impassable and offer us natural protection. Once we gain control of the road, any attempt to take the high ground would funnel their troops into a withering fire from our archers. It would also give us time to reinforce the city, and temporarily open a trade route with our Nord friends in Skyrim. We can fill our stores for a long siege if we have to. Then we... Dragonborn? I... I'm sorry. I didn't know my place. I... And it is so. Your place at the helm of your citizens. Please continue, my child. 
We are all so very proud of you. <coughs> then, we hold them off as long as we can until Leiwen brings his main force to bear. This time we are many. Ingol and his veterans will be amongst us. He could direct small groups of resistance fighters in the mountains behind the enemy. It would make it impossible for Leowen to assault the city by conventional means, and he would have to starve us out with a long siege of attrition. I take it you have spoken to Ingol about... When Ingol arrives, he will have Sorella with him, and the city as secure as it can be, under our garrison with Captain Grimbold, the Dragonborn and I will escort Sorella to Coral, where we will meet up with Cassius. Ah, Cassius Baron. I do love it when things appear to be coming together. I like reunions. Cassius will guide us over the Colovian highlands and mountain passes into Hammerfell. With luck, he will have already secured the support of Quintus and his legion. We take Table Mountain, destroy the Bridge of Sides, and that bitch is history. Quintus will then march his army back down the Gold Road to the Imperial City. I... I don't know. Hopefully, yes. Leowin would be forced to lift the siege of Bruma, or risk splitting his force to protect the Citadel. Depending on the circumstances, we would need to decide what to do next, then. Yes, who would join him, and who would abstain? So many scenarios. It all depends on Quintus, how quickly he can move from Anvil to Skingrad, gaining momentum to place his army outside Coral. It has been known for an army to just sit and do nothing on the battlefield. If Chadenhall and Breville side with Leowin, we'll have problems. He could have his forces, effectively keeping Bruma in check, and still mount a three-pronged pincer attack from the three fronts on Quintus's army. We would be defeated. Maybe the best way forward, if we, of course, get this far, would be to relieve Bruma, attack Leowin's army directly from the south, having Gol sally forth on the flank and crush the army. Leowin will move, my child. He will sit on the banks of Lake Remar, guarding the citadel. He will wait for Chadenhall and Brabiel to reinforce his army and to strike. The odds would overwhelm us all. The best you could hope for would be to relieve Bruma with Quintus' army and force a stalemate. Bear in mind, any peace deal would only last as long as it takes the Emperor to bring Coral, Anvil, and Skingrad back into the fold. There really isn't any other way than to fight, uh, to the bitter end. Dragonborn? Yes, of course. We must focus on the task at hand. If you will excuse me, Lady Rigmore. Lady Sigun, I need to go and check on the defenses. Of course. These really are dark times we are living in. I think I will retire. I bid you good night. I must apologize, Dragonborn. I'm so tired and must retire. I take it Sephri informed you of the consequences of destroying the Soul Gem? Allow me to explain. 
I have spoken with my mistress. She is very interested in our endeavors to thwart Morag Cepheus, or, should I say, Morag Bao. So much so, she has taken it upon herself to become directly involved, if needs must. Let's just say it's personal. If a rift is caused long enough for a certain Daedra to appear in person, then things are going to get very bad, very quickly, not only for you, but for all of Tamriel. <laughs> no. So she has instructed me to give you this. Behold, Dragonborn, the Eye of Boethia. <laughs> the Eye of Boethia. But listen carefully, very carefully. Once in your possession, it allows you to summon Boethia to your calling, but only if you are within a rift between oblivion and the mortal world, and another Daedra is present. If Molag Bal enters the rift, you must use the spell but we fear we'll fight Molag Bal to the death. Actually, it's an everlasting battle that can never end until... Until you strike either one of the Daedra with this. Boethia is very fond of you, Guardian, and Rigmore. You are, after all, her champion, but it's more like Baal she wants. There always has to be something ulterior for her to become involved on such a personal level. <coughs> <coughs> you may well find that you can do it yourself, soon, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. And I, too, need my beauty sleep. Oh, and Guardian, inform Captain Grimbold to sound the bells once Yingol starts his attack. There isn't much we can do until then, so please feel free to make yourself at home. You deserve at least to relax and rest while you still can. Come, Curry's. Yeah. What shall we do now? <laughs> yeah, right. I don't know what came over me. I just want this all to be over. Remember all those years ago I said about how you can't run away from your destiny? You have to face it. Head on. Don't let it control you. Dragonborn, stop it. Oh, the gods. I'm more afraid of that than anything. Well, I'm trying. It's not easy. Thank you, Dragonborn. And I love you too.
Hey, wanna go grab a beer? We might not get another chance. Did you visit the Tab and Tack yet? <laughs> the Countess of Bruma does not get barred, okay? Come on. After all this recent crap, I need a stiff drink. There's also some things I want to get off my chest. Okay. だわ Yes. I have placed the garrison on high alert, and placed sentries on both gates, and spread the men out on the east wall. If they're going to attack, they'll have to try and breach the city here. They're just part of the blockade, keeping out of range from our archers. The north and west side is impassable for them. We can pick them off from the walls. Our only problem is that they've cut us off, not only from the rest of Cyrodiil, but Skyrim to the north. Leowin has sent most of his garrison and a company of new Imperial Legionnaires. Robert himself commands the field. Not as yet. They sent some rangefinders the other night, and we returned fire. But, as no attack followed, I'm guessing they're waiting to get their trebuchets built. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It will be done as you ordered. All fighting age men have been called to arms. Those without children have been incorporated into the shield maidens. Although I haven't heard from the Fighters Guild. Maybe you and the Countess could... Just a retirement home for old veterans, and a place for lordless knights to muster. Speak to Sir Gregor. He's been asking about you. Mom?
Thank <laughs> you. 